What's up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back. This video is brought to you guys by Wondershare, and we're taking a look at their all-new demo creator. Now, this thing allows you to screen record in every which way you could possibly dream of. As you guys can see, it also has a built-in video editor directly in here, so you don't actually need to toss the footage that you record with this into another piece of software. So, what exactly are we going to do? Well, first of all, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys what it's like to start a new recording. As you guys can see, it's very simplistic. You have to go ahead and choose the microphone that you want, and you can even use a virtual webcam. Cam, such as many cam and then of course you also choose the recording area so you can choose a size or you can go ahead and set a custom size later or select a target window which is really really cool as well after that all you have to do is simply hit record it will give you a three two one and it will start recording you can also use hotkeys to stop the recording at any which time so right now I am actually recording my entire screen which is really really awesome now the really cool thing here is it loads up the editor right after you're done with the screen recording. So I went ahead and recorded a longer bit of video that I'll be working on, and this is a review of uh, Filmora, which is one of the other software that they offer, and that's their full-on video editing software. However, you don't actually need that in this case. All you have to do is use their own built-in editor with the demo creator, and just like that, you can do just about you know, almost all the things that you could do with a full-fledged editor. For example, I can go ahead and scale this video upwards and zoom in on it. So I can go and zoom into a certain section. Maybe it's gameplay, maybe who knows. And then, of course, I, need, I can go and rotate this as well. I can position it, or I can go and mess with the speed in case I am talking too slow, or if it's a replay or a montage or something of those sorts. And all the edits show up down here. You can also lock your timeline, and you can also mess with the audio. You can mix it to mono, or you can denoise it if there is stuff going on in the background with low, mids, and highs accessible directly in here. Now, here's my really favorite part. This is demo creator right this is designed for youtubers people who are you know recording gameplay 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 every single day and then they want it on their channel as fast as possible so they have all these title cards pre-made just for you so you can go ahead and you know toss any of these you need directly onto your footage let me see which one i like i think this one is fairly simplistic or should we go a little complex? This one looks nice. I'm going to go toss it on here, and that's what the video's beginning now looks like. How cool is that? And then you can go ahead and edit this right on the spot. So we're actually going to call this Smart um, Tech, as you guys can see. And that took me less than 0.1 seconds to do. So when I go ahead and play it, oop, we don't want to crop just yet. Maybe I'll show you guys that in a second. But when I go ahead and play it, boom, a Smart Tech, and it's fully animated. I had to do absolutely nothing. They also have a variety of other things built directly onto their site that you can go ahead and access as well. So what exactly else can this thing do? Well, if we keep going downwards here, you can also add text bubbles. And that's really, really useful because I don't know if you guys know this, but YouTube got rid of annotations. It's a really, really big struggle, but that's a thing. So you can actually go and drag these directly onto your timeline. And now you can use them as annotations and you can move it around as needed or you can resize as needed. As you guys can see, it looks really, really cool if you need to add a little bubble. Now, what else do they have inside of here? We also got some arrows, so maybe I'll choose to put this over here, and now we're pointing, and that has a text built into it, so you can, once again, go ahead and type whatever you need directly onto there. Here's a variety of other arrows you might need for showing off your gameplay, or maybe even making thumbnails. Let me go and toss this onto this section of video, and as you guys can see, we got a dude walking here, and let me see. Let's say we want to take this arrow and have it point to this guy over here, because that's part of the tutorial that I'm showing. Well, we can actually go ahead and make that happen. How cool is that? So, those are all the different little animations that they have built in there. They also have an emojis in here, so you got yourself, you know, uh, cool little effects such as education, you also got game, you also have social media, so maybe I want to take and toss this onto this part of the footage, and I can go ahead, and now all of a sudden I got this cool little little guy just chilling right here, which is really, really cool. They also have ones for social media, so, you know, when people say, leave a like and go ahead and thumbs this up right now, like I'm ask actually asking you guys to do, then, of course, go ahead and add any of these at will. So there you go, my cool little thumbs up. You can go ahead and resize that right on the spot, maybe add some text right next to it, and and maybe put it in the corner the whole time and you can actually have it so people go to your Facebook page really really cool and I also got some animations here so when I go to my main video I can actually go ahead and maybe even you know split it up right here and now I need a little you know transition over here so you can add transitions this one's a bit crazy but nothing too too crazy so now when I go and switch from one section to the next boom we have the world's craziest animation you 
also get ripples and flashes and evaporates, all the different variety that you have. Then, of course, last but not least, you can also green screen. Not much I can show with that at the moment. However, it is possible. You can also add a mosaic. Not really necessary for this footage, but, you know, it is possible. And there's also Cinema 21.9 if you want to turn your footage into that. That's an option as well. So these are all the different little effects. Basically, this thing just adds the bars right there, which is really, really cool. Now, last but not least, we have our cursor highlights. So of course, this thing will be able to highlight your cursor if you're doing tutorials like I'm doing for this right here. So of course, it's gonna go ahead and automatically do it to the video itself. And you can also have click rings. So every single time that it recognizes that you clicked, it'll go ahead and automatically add a little ring so people can you know, tell what, what you're clicking in any, uh, in any area or any particular box or something of those sorts on your screen itself. Last but not least, you can go ahead and save the project. And of course, you can export it to create a video which is really really cool but I th I think the coolest thing about the software is that you don't actually have to use the screen recording functionality to get a lot of functionality out of this. You can simply click video editor and then you can even toss in drone videos into there and you're pretty much set to go. So I'm actually going to go ahead and show you guys this so it's going to load up the editor real quick. Let me just toss it in here and now I have a random drone shot, right? So we're going to go and hit import. I'm going to jump into maybe some of my drone footage here and I'm just going to toss this random video into the editor. Boom. That's it. This is not a screen recording. I'm not saying that this editor has to edit screen recording. You can edit any YouTube video in here and you can scale it and you can mess with it and you're pretty much set to go. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If so, leave a like and don't forget to subscribe. Go ahead and check out the links below. Thank you guys for watching. This is going to be me logging off.